Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Scissor 1 video. And today we are back in X-Plane to destroy some more planes. Now on today's list of destruction, let's destroy some propellers. You know, the, the props and, and see how everything goes. Now to start off this video, we are at my local airport in the plane that I fly. That I actually flew today. I shared that on my Instagram, so you should follow me. I also revealed my face on there a hundred years ago, but that's a whole other topic. Right, this is a Cirrus SR-20 amazing aircraft. This is even an older version than the one that, that I'm flying in real life, but whatever, who who actually cares? Now, let's just go ahead and normally take off and then break our propellers. We have successfully taken off. Now, how likely is a case like this going to happen? You know, how likely is a propeller going to fall off? Yeah, it's uh, highly unlikely that something like that happens. So we are in the failures menu. We can now select engine separation one. We're just going to separate. Our engine makes sense. You have that option in pretty much every plane, but not every plane has an animation for that. But propeller plane have an animation for that. Let's just go ahead and uh, see what happens. Yeah, now first of all, it's very quiet, right? Stop. Oh, oh no. Okay, time for a parachute because a Cirrus has a parachute, which is a very nice feature. Something went wrong here. The problem is I kind of wanted to avoid landing on the city, but this also works out. But we survived quite well. Yeah, you should not land in the middle of the city, but we survived, right? That's a very neat feature of Cirrus planes. All Cirrus planes have it. We have already talked about the Cirrus jet before. That one also has a parachute. It's called Caps System. That can seriously save your life, obviously. Especially if your wings fall off, even though that's very unlikely to happen, but <laughs> now let's try some bigger turboprop plane like a King Air. Actually, I never fly King Air on this channel, but this one has a turboprop. Now we don't have parachutes here. Oh no, there's actually uh, some kind of follow me car on the runway. Now I was thinking about how can a prop like this fail. Maybe a burst strike would call a failure like that. Now we're gonna select both engines to separate and it's gonna be very quiet in a minute. Okay, whatever. Let's just try to make it back to the airport because we have some speed. Sharp turn. That's gonna make us lose a lot of speed though. I think we're gonna make it. Nah. Let's hope that we're gonna make it. This is looking very good. Okay, gear down. Gear down, I said. I said gear down. Gear doesn't want to come down. Okay, gear does not want to come out. So let's land without gear, I guess, right? Gear is a loser anyway, right? Yeah, that's why planes have landing gear normally, but that was not really the case here. It was very hard, I gotta say that. That was pretty much a Ryanair landing. Let's try the Fire Streak. It's an interesting plane. It's a supersonic turbo prop. Because why not, right? Let's go ahead and take off. Come on, can do it. All right, let's take off. This is a weird plane. Very silent. Rotate or something. Gear does not want to come up, which is interesting for a supersonic plane, you know? All right, let's now kill our props. We only lost one of the two props. I think we can still fly normally though. Oh, we cannot. Oh, we cannot. What, what is it doing? Yeah, this is a very bad model. I don't know how we could lose speed so rapidly, but something just really did not work out here. Oh, physics have really left the chat. Oh, it's a, it's a very bouncy plane to say the least. Let's try the C-130. Right, so here we are in the C-130. Let's go ahead and do a full power takeoff. Yeah, I think we need that power on a small runway like this. Even though this plane is probably going to make it. I mean, there are C-130s operating on an aircraft carrier, so I would not worry. There we go. We might have had a minor tail strike, but that is a whole nother topic. Now, once we've gained some altitude, let's break all of our propellers. Yeah, we're gonna end up in the fields, I guess. I mean, we can still maybe return back to the airport. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, activate our failure. In the failures menu next to the 737 MAX, because that is also a failure, very funny. Here we go, we have lost all our engines. And let's try to make it back to the airport, shall we? I mean, what can go wrong? Yeah, a lot can go wrong, never mind. I think we're gonna land on the highway. Yeah, I mean, we gotta try out some new things, right? Oh, this is never going to work out. I should have picked the runway, but maybe this is cool to see, I guess, right? Okay, let's go full flaps. Let's try to touch down at the lowest speed possible. We're still pretty fast. We could have definitely made it back to the runway. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's try to land. Hard landing, hard landing, but whatever. Oh, bus is probably gone. Bus is gone. All right, maybe this was not too realistic. Yeah, we stroke many, many poles and stuff. Oh, that was nose gear first. Very much not good. Whatever. We stopped, after all. That is all what counts. Actually, I'm extremely glad that we stopped, because otherwise we, we would have 
crashed into this thing, whatever this is. Now, here we are in an aerobask. Very interesting plane. Oh, Jesus. Let's just go ahead and uh, break it. There we go. We have lost our only engine. Now, uh, there is a little... I mean, that you cannot call this a lake, right? More of a pond. Oh, we're way too fast. This is never going to stop. We're going to overrun the water. Okay. Oof. Yeah, in this sim, you can actually uh, set the wave size. And I might have... Yeah, wh whatever, right? Now, let's just go ahead and uh, fly the queen of turbo props. I don't know if you can call it a queen because it, it's actually not too nice to fly after all. Even though that's only personal preference. But it is definitely a hard plane to fly, I would say. All righty. Here we are in the Q400. Very nice plane. Let's go ahead. Looking all good. Rotate. Hail strike. That was a major tail strike, actually. That might have been a very early rotate. Let's go to the failures menu and kill the engines. There we go. We have two engines to kill. And they're gone. Oh, they're actually gone. Oh, no. Now, where is the airport? It should be somewhere, obviously. Okay, there's the runway. Let's try to make it back to the runway. Problem is, again, that we cannot really put out gear for some reason. So, um, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, we have not crashed. All right, so we are losing speed right now. We are crashing into a train at this point. And for some reason, the gear is now coming out. Yeah, this was not a successful flight. You can definitely say that. But it was actually a nice landing, right? I mean, we did not crash. Something just did not work out here. Crashed through the train. Ended up in the field. Now, what's the conclusion out of this? Now, how likely is an engine failure like that to happen? It's very unlikely for something like that to happen. The only thing I can really think of is a bird strike, but... So this will never happen anyway. I don't know. So yeah. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.